In the previous video, we saw how GitHub Copilot can help you when writing NumPy code. Check it out if you missed it. This is a video series where we explore all the things you can do with Python in conjunction with the Copilot. And now it's time for some matplotlib. Alright, let's start by importing matplotlib. So import matplot. Okay, Copilot already completed this sentence for us. Let's do the same with NumPy. So import. Oh, it did it again, of course. Guys, we already saved around 10 seconds of coding because importing mat matplotlib, everybody knows that it's kind of problematic. It's a long sentence. Okay, now I want to define X points and well, not Y points. Let's leave it out for now. Let's remove it and fill it with, let's say values from nice values. What does it even mean? <laughs> no, let's say with numbers from two to 14 and I'm going to press enter and tab and it spits out a code npa range 215 perfect now y points and github copilot already knows that it's going to be a similar sentence but we're going to change it from 4 to 16 so we get npa range 4 to 17 amazing and now i want to plot both of them so x points and y points and show it show the plot because i want to make sure that the show function runs and i press enter and tab and it writes the code for me how cool is that now let's run oh sorry i run the script from the previous video now Python viz.py and we get a nice plot. Now that might not be enough. So I want to extend it by saying that I want to add a kind of a title to my plot. So let's say y points comma set a title of um, random data maybe. And of course show it. Now we're going to press enter tab enter tab. We get the random data enter tab, we get the show function and let's run it again. And we get the same plot, but now with a nice title. Awesome. Now you probably don't know that, but I really like bar charts. So I want to build a bar chart with Copilot. So I'm going to clear the console, remove all the code that I wrote, and we're going to start kind of from scratch. So I'm going to say define, not data, define an array with car brands and let's make them strings and let's see okay hmm well apparently <laughs> github copilot knows some car brands audi bmw mercedes but apparently only three that's not bad that's enough for some reason they repeat it but <laughs> let's leave it like this and i'm gonna create a second array so define an array called values uh, let's say and, and fill it with random eight different numbers eight different values uh that's not quite what i wanted okay let's change it to random <laughs> and now enter tab and exactly np.random let's simply print the values just to make sure that it is what we need and we get an array with eight different numbers between zero and hundred perfect that's what we needed now let's tell github copilot to plot it so plot a bar chart yeah and it completed the sentence for us uh, as always. Enter tab, enter tab and save the file, go to the console, run the script and we get a nice bar chart. Of course it omitted the repeating car brands. So we have only some of them, but that simply works perfectly. That's how GitHub Copilot can build you bar charts. Awesome. In the next video, we're going to get into something really, really interesting. We're gonna do some machine learning with GitHub Copilot. So stay tuned.